You know, it's really the basics of business, right? To make money, you got to spend money. And that includes if you want to make money off selling your house. Joining us this morning from EXP Realty, uh, Jeanette Womble, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So we all think about, hey, man, I'm going to sell my house and make a million dollars because the prices are so high. But the reality is there's some actual costs that a seller has to incur to get that sale to happen. Absolutely. In South Carolina, there are about five costs that you can anticipate. Um, you know, there's other extraneous things like repair costs, but when you go to sell your home um, and you look at your settlement statement, you're going to find that what you get is not what you're going to walk away with. Okay. So you can see two of you as a I'm going to make. 500000 Not really. No, that's <laughs> not right. the case. What are the expenses you have to look at? The first thing that you're going to incur is the South Carolina state sales tax, and that's calculated at a rate of $3.70 per the number of hundreds of thousands of dollars that you sell for. So easy math. That's a lot of math. Let's say that you sell your house for $250,000. Mm -hmm. Then you take two fifty dollars times 3.7, which is $925, mm -hmm. and that's your sales tax that you're going to pay to the state of South Carolina. Now, is that for the sale price or is that the profit you make? It's for the sales price. It is not for your profit. So you're, you're losing money right off the jump then if I'm not making... Exactly. Exactly. Enough. All right. What's next? Uh, the next thing that you'll have is an attorney fee. Mm -hmm. We are an attorney state, so you're required to use an attorney when you sell your home. And generally speaking, they're going to charge you about $500. Okay. So that's less than your state sales tax. And not every state requires an attorney. South Carolina is, but not every state that's right. says you have to use an that's attorney. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, what's next? Uh, the next thing is you might choose to list your home with a realtor. Mm -hmm. And if you do, then you'll have a realtor fee. Okay. And these fees can be flat fees up to a percentage of the sales price that you list your house for depending on the company that you go with. All right. So you can see a fee as low as say $500 and as high as, you know, if we're using the 250 house, you know, 15 to $16,000. Wow. So you That's definitely yeah, you definitely want to talk with a broker about that. All right, number four. Uh, number four is um, you've got your um, property tax proration. So we are we are a state where we pay taxes in arrears, meaning okay. that we pay at the end of the year for that year. Okay. So if your property tax bill is say twelve hundred dollars a year, you'll be prorated at closing, and you'll give the purchaser of the home that amount of money for the tax bill. Okay. Now most people do escrow, so after your house sells, you can expect to get that money back in the mail. So it's like little Christmas money. Money. All right, and then withholding, of course, is the other one, right? Withholding would be if you're not a resident of South Carolina. Okay. So if you've already moved out of state or out of the country and you've claimed residency in another location, the withholding can be a big surprise because they will withhold 7% of the sales price and send that to the, um, the state IRS department until uh, you do your taxes. All right. So sell your house, make some money, but spend a whole lot as well. It sounds yeah. Jeanette Womble, EXP Realty. Details at abccolumbia.com. We'll put the list there for you and links over to her as well. Thank you for coming in. Great information. That's an eye opener. Yeah. Stay close.